Hey guys, it's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming, and this is the first episode of a new series on how to make a video game in Java. So this episode, we're just going to be setting up the libraries and uh, the environment. So go ahead and we're going to make a new folder, get it all nice and organized. And I'm going to name it Workspace. Open that up, make a new folder called lib for libraries. And inside here, we're going to make two more, one called jars and one called natives. All right, so once we've done that, open up your browser and we're gonna Google for two things. The first one is LWJGL for lightweight Java game library. And the second one is slick util. So for slick, we're gonna click the second link here from Ninja Cave. And down here where it says library only, we're gonna click that, download it. And then for lightweight Java game library, we're gonna click download right here. And there's a lot of options here, the source, docs, applet, we're just gonna get the normal one right here, the third one down. Just take you to SourceForge. So let's let that download real quick. All right, and then once that's downloaded, we're going to open it up and we're gonna click show in folder to get to where slick util downloaded. And we can exit out of Chrome now. And we're gonna to go to our workspace that we created, lib jars. And we're gonna drag and drop the slick util right in this folder. And then inside this .rar file we downloaded, we're going to go into this folder, go into jar. And we want two, we want the regular one right here, lightweight Java game library. And we also want the util. So drag those in there and then go up a couple folders to native and then choose your operating system. I'm on windows. So go to windows and let's go back in our workspace folder over to the natives. And we're just going to bring everything from this folder. Oops. Everything from this folder over to the other natives folder. And now we're done. So we can exit out of these windows. And now we're going to open up eclipse. And if you don't have a clips, you don't know what it is, you don't know how to set it up, there should be an annotation on the screen right now for a tutorial on how to set that up. So just go ahead and click that and then come right back after. So once you're in Eclipse, we're going to exit this intro screen, click File, Switch Workspace, Other. And we're going to go to the workspace that we just created. So mine is right here on the desktop. Click OK. It should reload with the uh, proper workspace. All right, now once you're in here, we're going to make a new project, Java project, and I'm going to name mine, I'll just name mine game project. And inside here, inside the SRC folder, we're going to make a new package called data. And inside of that, a new class called boot. And boot is going to be our main class. Now, in order for us to use those files that we just downloaded, we have to set them up for this project. So go ahead and right click in our game project and go to properties. From here, go to Java build path, libraries, and we're going to add external jars. So these are the jars that we downloaded. So you're going to go to uh, your desktop or wherever you made your workspace folder, go to your workspace folder, lib jars. And we're going to add all three of these. And then for the middle one, the lightweight Java game library, double click on the native library location, external folder, and we're going to navigate to our natives folder and press OK. OK. So now you can see over here on the left, reference libraries, we now have access to all three files that we just downloaded. So we're going to go ahead in our boot class and we're going to make the entry point to our program. I'm just going to say new boot. We're going to go ahead and make that method up here, or that constructor rather. And in here, we're going to start creating our display screen for the game. So we're going to set the title, oops, title, and I'm going to name mine Cross Coast Gaming Game. You can name yours whatever you want, doesn't matter. 
and then we're going to set the size which is display mode new display mode and for now I'll make it a uh, 600 by 400 and for this we need to import it so hover over it and make sure you import the lightweight Java game library one not the AWT one and we should get an error because we need to surround it with a try catch so just click that and this just means that in case something goes wrong don't blow up the computer just catch the error stop running it and print out what went wrong so I'm going to delete this uh, comment right here and inside of the try catch right under where we set the title or the display mode we're going to create the screen all right and what this should do is as soon as we hit run a screen of these dimensions with this title should pop up real quick and then exit all right looks like it worked I'll run it one more time so that's going to be our game screen so next video we're going to work on uh, obviously keeping the screen active and alive and then running some code to uh, get our game going all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time